Hey, Chan Clan viewers, this is Douglas, and he is reviewing his Tinker Great Make Your Own Air Cannon. Now, you guys have probably seen this at like a science center uh, before where you have these little air cannons that are strategically designed so that they funnel a blast of air even multiple feet away. So, here Douglas is to talk to us about this month's Tinker Crate, the air cannon. Doug, tell us what's cool about this kit. shoot things down with the air that releases from the middle of the circle so when you pull back oh i just got shot in the arm here holy smokes all right shoot my hand can we demonstrate that Ooh, i could feel that and then these if you put a shorter one you get shoots farther Oh, so by changing the the opening, you can actually shoot the, the puff farther. Can you feel that? I can feel a bit. Why don't we use the target system to demonstrate how well you can hit them? Oh, as I knock a couple off. Let's see if you can hit any of these top row up, top row off. It's facing the wrong way. <laughs> oh, I guess we have to face it this way. Okay. Can you knock any of these off? Oh, that hit my head. Lower. There you go. Lower. Oh, you're just pointing, you have to point it down. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there, boom. Another one. Oof, hit my shoulder. Oh, hit. Hit the target. There, another one. So you can see that Douglas is well over a couple of feet away from the targets here, and he's able to shoot these blasts of air and knock off the targets. So this kit comes with a target and actually comes with two air cannons. It was so fun that they already misplaced the blue air cannon, but it comes with a, a uh, a red one and a blue one, so you can actually take turns. Oh, look, he's using the big wide one. That one should, is that gonna, goes less far? Oh, but it has a bigger blast. I can feel that. You gonna try that one? Back to the medium sized one to see if you can knock off that final target. Lower, You're hitting my hand. Almost. There you go, knocked it off. So it also has this uh, little scaffold where you can line up your targets and they just fall off backwards. So they're just little lips of paper. So how does this all work? Did you read the Tinker Design? Mm -hmm. It just, it, when you shoot it, mm -hmm. it all the air comes through the circle. When you have all of it off, uh -huh. then it doesn't make such a blast because mm -hmm. all of the air just falls out. Kind of diffuses, but, then, but when you put on that... When you put on this, then, yeah. then the air, when you, throw, when you shoot it, it, it all goes out the circle. That and what's that called? A vortex, yeah. So it, it takes the air and kind of like when you flush the toilet and it makes kind of that spiral, that vortex of air when you're uh, shooting out that hole, also creates a puff of air that keeps on swirling. And that's why it can travel a lot further than just kind of without that opening there. So it's using that force or that swirling motion uh, to create a vortex. Yeah, there you go, in your bathroom, like in the toilet, in the boat, in nature. So air vortexes. Oh man, that'd be cool if we had some like smoke. You could probably show how you, you shoot that out. So you can see kind of in this episode of the Tinker Zine, uh, vortex hunting is the topic. And it talks about how like tornadoes are vortexes and then how you can actually uh, use this. Oh look, you can use some, some smoke. You can light a candle, trap all the smoke underneath it. You notice that? Trap the smoke underneath that and you can actually puff it out. They actually have a candle? Oh, actually, this kit actually has a candle. That's pretty cool. We're going to burn the house down? Mm -hmm. 
So you can actually see the smoke puff out. It smells weird, but... You can make yourself a water tornado. Vortex games. It's in a can. And... Oh. If you smell it, then yeah. Oh, wow. What do you have to do with these? Light them on fire? Um, it says in the instruction. That there's like this right here. Uh huh. You can place a smoke cone. You can light it, and then. Oh, so it's like incense, I think. So it just makes a bunch of smoke, and then you can trap the smoke upside down in the puffer, and then you can actually blow out smoke rings. We need fire for this. Yeah, I don't think we'll do that because it's gonna make it all stinky and probably set off our smoke detectors. Right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Like that. Yeah, well, you have to light it, and then you basically collect trapped all the smoke inside of there, and then you can shoot it off uh, in front of a flash night, flashlight, and then you can see that. Yeah. And you can shoot off puffs of smoke rings, which it's is pretty hard cool. Hard is when you're shooting it. You, don't, you can do that outside, probably. Yeah. You don't know, like you're aiming where it is, but then the other person tells you kind of where they felt down. it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're aiming right here, then it's like they're going to shoot the middle target, but you aim somewhere else. Right. So the accuracy may not be the best, but at the same time, I think it's a pretty cool science project. Uh, right. So that you can actually uh, kind of play against each other. Oh, tic-tac-toe can blow off those uh, targets and they actually give you a little dry erase marker so that you can erase that board and do it over again. What's with the balloons? What are you supposed to do with the balloons? Do you know? Oh, those are the balloons? So they're just balloons that you stretch over there? Yeah, you go like this and then... And you stretch it all the way over. Got it. So that you can just over here. Yeah. And then you have like... Yeah, okay nice well what's one thing that you think could get could be better with this kit hmm. no how about what do you like about this kit oh nice so that way you can hold the uh balloon on it and I think that the smoke kind of incense was a nice touch for you to see the smoke rings that you can do outside too. Yeah. So here you have it. This is the Tinker Crate, Douglas's uh, latest addition. Uh, the Air Cannon. Make your own Air Cannon. Uh, this is available at KiwiCo uh, as part of the Tinker Crate su subscription. You can check out all of Douglas's other projects and all of the other KiwiCo lines. Uh, you can hit our link below for a discount on your own subscription. Leave your comments, subscribe, tell us what you like about Tinker Crates, uh, whether or not you've made this air cannon yourself, uh, and any tips for any of the viewers building this project. Thanks for watching Douglas as he reviewed the air cannon Tinker Crate. We'll see you next time on the Chan Clan Makes KiwiCo Kits.